what's up guys welcome to this channel my name is João and this is my first video in this channel so from today I'll be posting some projects made by using Python to help those who are learning Python to have a better practice than just theory on their head so that's why you shouldn't forget to subscribe to this channel so without taking too much time I will explain what this project it is this is a simple digital clock that we are going to build by using Python and some extra libraries from Python itself. So this project I think it will be good for projects because it doesn't take too much time. Maybe within 30 minutes or one hour you can finish with this project. So I think there is nothing more to explain. So let's start the project. Open your editor and create a new Python file. In this project we'll be using Tkinter as a graphical user. Then to first we have to export First we have to import the kinder in our script, then this will be from, from the kinder import, import all. And then do this again, import the kinder. So after this we'll be defining some colors that we'll be using in this project. Then I have, I have searched and selected some colors that I want to use in this project like those colors they will be let me see let me do it first define some colors i just want to say that it is very important to comment always your code because it really helps and then in the future when you come back to your code you you won't be like feeling like you don't know what you did in this same script so as I said, I will be defining some colors that uh, I'm gonna use in this project. So then this will be core one. For color one, I'll be putting like this, core one, 3D, 3D, 3D. And this is a black color that I'm gonna use for background of the project. As you can see this, for this background, for this background, I'll be using this color, this one, which I just defined. Let me write his name, black, like this. And the second core, core two, it will be, it will be this green color here. So then this will be 21C2, 5C. And I, have, I will write his name, which is green, save. So now we'll create this windows, this small window. So for that, this will be like this, root equal tk and root dot title will be, uh, for me, sometimes I don't like to give a title in my ticket projects because I feel like it, because I feel that it looks a little ugly. As you can see here, I didn't give any title for this one. So then I will leave it as empty this way. Then this, we will define some dimension for this project. Then it will be root geometry. So I'll give 350 as a width and one eight. Then I will define a background for this windows then you'll be root dot or better sorry root the root dot config which will be background equal as i said we have defined some colors here so for this background it will be a black uh, background so i will be using this color then it will be core core one and save Then after this, we will call the main root, root dot main, loop this way, and save. So now we'll execute to see which thing we got. Let me see, Python, clock.py. Uh, so we got some errors. It is from this one call. I forget to give the hashtag from here, this way and save and let me execute it again 
so now as you can see we got this one and we don't we don't want that the window size to be changed like this so to make it as aesthetic without changing is size so we have just to add some code here this will be root dot resize resizable this way then we'll give some parameter we'll put for which for which it will be fails comma and for a for age it will be fails also then we'll be then we'll execute and as you can see now he is not allowing us to change the size of the main window cool next we will create a label that will be showing the time so for this it will be label we'll put like as label l1 it will be equal label open the parent it will be root comma test from now we'll be using just some numbers there for them 10 uh, 35 dot uh, 33 three as a time and comma then we'll give a font some font for this one we'll use like uh, let me see Arial it's okay Arial 80 comma and for background BG this way we'll use as a core core one the same background which one which is this one this black color and the font font ground this will be fg will be we'll be using this color here this green one it will be core two this way and save and then we forget to put equal here save so now this will be again l1 dot grid we'll be using grid system and which will be we'll put it in place it on row one no, row zero comma at colon at column zero and stick equal and they will not waste save then we'll execute again to see uh, we wrote it to bad is grid not grid you go out and grid save as you can see we got here some results uh, so this window is a bit uh, small so let's increase it a little instead of five let's use seven save close and let's execute again still uh, instead of this let's see just use 400 save and go yes i think this will be enough then later on we'll be changing cool oh uh, maybe we just can put it 10 and execute again it seems like it doesn't okay i think 30 will be enough done oh shit it went so oh i put 400 then okay come here okay 430 yes this okay and i think we'll just put okay 430 save execute okay cool we got a good result okay since we are creating a digital clock now we just have to find a way to get uh, the time from our computer so for this we'll use the data time so then we'll we have to just import it it will be from date time this way import date data time this way save and come here inside give a little space we'll create one variable one variable we'll call it as a ti time it will be equal time equal to data time dot 
now then let's imprint this this variable this variable to see what we have time save okay as you can see from here this variable that we just create this one this one time it contains the date the date which is 20, 2020 november and today is 3rd okay and the, that is the time 16 this is the minute 5 and this is the seconds 35 so now we just have to get these ones so by working with time to get these values we can do this way first we'll get the hours then we'll, be, we'll get one new variable we'll call it as hour it will be equal to time we are taking this variable this one which contains the all the values time dot str this way str strf time this way and just open and close and then after this you just give some percentage and give give h h stand for hour dot then percentage again m m stand for minutes dot and just give a, another percentage again and s e s stand for seconds so all of this it belongs to data time and if you want to know more about those things you just type uh, on google python data time library and it will show a list of available options that you can do or that you can use by using this data time then after this we'll save and let us imprint our hour let us see this variable how what is going to give us close and then let's do as you can see we got here some result here he gave us he gave us the time which is 16 7 minutes and 48 seconds so then after this we will get the weekday which is weekday let us create one new variable and call it as a weekday so today is tuesday let's see. today is tuesday so it is supposed to return us as tuesday let us see time dot str open again percentage and to get a weekday we just have to give this like this a as argument so for a it will return us which day it is so then let's just us print again save and execute as we can see there is it gives a it gave us the result as tuesday cool now we want to get a calendar day so for that we'll get a new variable we'll call it as a day open it will be time dot day this just like that and if we print day we will get the day which it is as we can see we get three today is third and for month also we have to get it will be time dot month and if we print month also month we'll get 11 but we don't want to get it as this way we want to get it as a string so for that we just have to do something like this again time dot str strf time open and percentage for for month we just have to give b as if oh sorry i forget first open parent oh, i forget so first we have to give this then percentage sorry percentage and b like this and if we print month again we'll be getting as you can see abbreviation of north which is november november and for year also the same thing year 
will be equal time dot strf time open which will be percentage and the capital y so let us print here it will be as we can say we got 2020 cool okay so after all of this we'll create a one function and we'll put all, the, all of these values inside of that function that we are going to create so this function that we'll call it as a clock then it will be clock open close and just take all of this put inside of this function like this and save so now since we have all the values for year month day weekend hours and uh, the time itself now we will create a one function and we'll put all of this inside of that function so for this then it will be def clock this function i will call it as a clock since it is related to time and then we'll take all of this put inside of this function and save yeah like this cool and now let us execute our program now instead of passing this string here this string directly now we'll pass all this value here our inside of uh, the gui so for this we just have to do this way since this label is the one which uh, that will be showing the hour so then we'll come inside of our functions we'll do l1 this way we'll put dot config config this way open so the thing that we want to change is this value test so then we just have to pass inside your text this way equal to hour and now we don't need this one which can delete or better we can even remove all of this like this test and save and if you if we execute our program we won't get anything so for that we first have to call this function so for this will it will be clock open close so we call this function so now if we execute our script we can see we get the time here inside of this label okay very well so now since we can see that this time is static nothing is changing it's just showing 16 and nothing else and if we close it and execute again it will change it will show the same thing 16 only seconds change so to make it as a dynamic digital clock we just have to come here inside here def and we have to do something like this l1 dot after open so this is saying that after and then we'll pass give it some parameter after 200 milliseconds close execute this function clock this one clock and save so now if we execute this we can see uh, now our clock is dynamic so from this one from from here we say that after 200 milliseconds execute this function clock so that is what which is happening here so after each 200 milliseconds it's keep executing this same function like changing the value of this l1 cool okay now we have our hours displaying in our gui so next we just have to show the month the day week day and the year so for this we'll be creating a new label so for for that we just come here copy this one come down and paste and we'll change this variable instead of l1 let us use l2 and instead of root 1 let us post it on no yeah l1 sorry instead of l0 let us use 1 and here we can keep this one okay cool so to give the values to this new label that we just create we'll do the same that as we did here so we'll come here inside here copy come a bit down paste instead of l1 we use l2 and config from here we want is to give the week first is the weekday which day is today instead it will be week weekday plus give some space open 
open close then give some space again plus give some space str of day oh, since day is this is an integer value so we have to convert it into a string give space again plus open and close slash um, plus again strd of month this way and space again plus and slash plus open year this way open and close so now let us execute so now let us execute this to see what we got okay as we can see we got some values here but they are looking so big so for that let us change here this values inside instead of 80 let's let us try to give 20 even this one also 20 oh, sorry save and execute Oh, it became too too small but as we can see we got the values here tuesday and tell november and 2020 so from this one we just have to give a little space okay cool then this will be coming here inside give a small space yeah and save here instead of this just take it itself even this one stay 80 and this one stay 20 yeah let us see okay cool we got a good result as we can see tuesday 3rd november 2020 right now our project is almost finished so as you can see the the time is is a dynamic dynamic is it is changing according the time from my pc and we got the days the month and the year so now we just have to make it look as a digital as a digital clock as we said from the title so for that we just have to do something we come here we have to come here in this website and which is a thousand one fonts just come here i will put the link of i'll put the link of this website in the description of the video just come here and download this font click in download and start your download once your download finish just open it like this and then go to the folder where your project it is for the mine it is is here this one and open this the font that you just download come here and choose this one digital and slash seven dot t t t f and take this one and paste it here replace because i have here then put it in the same director where your script it is so after that come back to your script and then we just have to you just have to do one more thing uh, which is installing the pyglet this one so come here even this one the web this website i'll put the link in the description in the description of the video you just come here copy this one copy come to your terminal and install it so after the installation be completed i won't i will not install it because i already have it installed on my laptop so after the installation is completed so you just have to come here in the top of the script give it a little space then just import it import pi glt this way pyglet and save so then after this give it a little space again just do pygrade this way pygrade dot font dot add and slash this way and file open and inside just write the name of this font that you just download this one digital 7 or better will copy it for not giving any error just come here and copy so for that the ex extension of this uh, font must be like uh, dot ttf this way and save 
So after this, just execute the program again and let's see the results. So as we can see, the result is this. We didn't get any error. And so that means we perfectly linked the, the, the font to, the, to our script. So now to use it, we just have to come here, copy this name, digital iPhone 7, copy, come a little down and paste it change area to that one and even this one also change area to this one and save so close and execute the program again and as you can see we got the result that we were expected to get it now it is looking more digital than it was before so now it is a little uh, big, uh, big so let's decrease a, a little our screen so for this let us come here and instead of this let's use 350 save and let's execute the program again so if you execute okay and okay we got the result the way that we were expected and you can get the code of this program here in this website this website is where i post all the program which i do all the projects will be i will be posting in this website you just can come here and check it and choose which program that you want right now i didn't post it but after some time i'm gonna post the code the source code of this program we just did it you can come here and read it and try to understand it the way that you wish and try to also change some functionality or try to add more functions to this project as you wish and uh, okay then we'll save for from here and just wait for the next project that we will do and thank you, my name is John and welcome to this channel, thanks.